my name is Tenzin Chimi. I'm the senior faculty in the CTEC GSP Shimla and you're watching online tutorial on HTML. We have already been discussed introduction part, the semantic of an HTML5. Now we are heading towards pragmatic learning. Pragmatic learning is nothing but a practical learning, the learning by doing. And the topics that we are going to learn by doing is list, semantic elements, block line and inline, image, multimedia, mark queue, table, and form. Those are the all HTML elements that we are going to explore through practical. Let's get started. So let me fire up first of all the text editor, which is Visual Studio Code. And as you can tell, uh, the Chrome that I'm presenting you is basically a web page. And as you can see, pragmatic learning, the, the, this word is nothing uh, but contained within the H1 element. And as you can see, there is a line center. That is why the text is, uh, is aligned at a center. It's an attribute. Attribute consists property and its value. Now you can see there is a red line, uh, red uh, text is aligned, which means this kind of behavior uh, or the attribute setting is duplicated, which means there are already a different set of attribute uh, defining factor that is cascading style sheet, where you can style those things in a, a proper way and in a different environment that is cascading style sheet. So it's very important to know this, right? Uh, we are key and more focused toward the documentation. So as you can see, there is a list. Uh, it, it has been a list, right? And it's in order form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are in the order form. For that matter, we use OL. O stands for order, L for list, order list. And within the order list, we have consist of a bunch of list. For that matter, we use LI, all considered to be open tag and closing tag. And B is bold that had been used uh, used here as a topics. So pretty much here, uh, it's how you make a list, right? We finish with a list, and I guess you uh, know how it works. You need order list, uh, and you need bunch of lists to set for your list. And you can also do like this. Instead of O, you can say U. What it does, if I save it and I show you here, see, the order list change into an order list. This is how uh, a list uh, is, right? We finish with list. Now let's jump into semantic. So semantic elements, as we have discussed, has a meaning, right? Those elements has a meaning. So we have discussed header elements. We have discussed section, we have discussed article, we have discussed aside, we have already discussed the footer. So I have uh, shown an example here. Uh, the most interesting part of here is that uh, the nav bar, right? Na nav elements, nav is nothing but a navigation. Uh, basically, if you want to link between the different pages, we use nav. And within nav, nav has the tons of collections of uh, hyperlinks. The hyperlinks can be achieved through an element called A element or an anchor element. So the, within the anchor element, it requires a hyper reference, right? Property, right? Attribute. And, and it contains the uh, name of the page that you wanted to link. And you want to set target either to self or either to blank, right? Uh, so I have choose blank here and I have been a list. Shall we run it? Right. Okay. Where is the semantic? Okay. When I run here, the most interesting is you can see when you hover over those texts, it has already been uh, pretty different from the other. That should how it goes for the uh, link. And when I link to another web page, when I click on it, it opens in a, a new tab. Uh, right, and so this is how hyperlink is basically work. Right, href is hyper reference. Right, okay. Now, 
for instance, like if you want to uh, go to introduction for say news, you can scroll down a bit and then you can look for the news one, right? Or you can have a bookmark. A bookmark is achieved through hyperlink again, right? How you can achieve this? You set introduction here, right? And within the hyperlink, you have to define hashtag. Hashtag is like for the ID. And then you set a name for that intro in my case. When I click to the intro, it opens to the introduction. So for that, we required an ID set to that content, and that content is within the H1 element. And for there, we set an attribute called, excuse me, intro, right? The name of the ID, the value of the ID should be similar to the hashtag, uh, whatever the, uh, the name you are giving. So this is how, this is how pretty much a semantic and hyperlink of a web page is all about, right? If I go to advertisement, ad came, came up, right? This is all about the semantic elements. Now, shall we look next? Uh, now we will discuss block line and inline. Okay, for block line and inline, let me look here. Okay. So block, and, uh, block line and inline is basically what it means is there are uh, tons of elements in HTML and they are categorized into block line or inline. Block line are those elements which comes in the block form. Inline elements are those which doesn't make a blockage or there is no, no set of a, a break of a line. So as you can see now, oh, wait a minute, you, you might uh, see very strange kind of tag here. Nothing, it's just a comment, right? Comments, comments like C-O-M-M-E-N-T-S, right? Comments. For make your if i save this like this and go here and if i open the block line and inline you must see you might see comments here right which i don't want to show in the web page but i do need to tell uh, to myself also to my colleague who are working in the project to know that there is a comment telling about or giving the description of the code is quite an important one. For that, what we're going to do is angle bracket, exclamation mark, two minus, and you see all becomes and comments. For that, we have to close comments, two minus sign, and then uh, closing angle bracket. Okay, greater. So this is how comments work. And one more thing, I can say H1 capital also. What does it mean? It means HTML is case insensitive. Case insensitive means uh, either uh, uh, it can be capital uh, or it can be small letter, doesn't matter. That is what it says. Uh, but we would often use small letter for, for synchronizing with our code. All right. Now, as you can see here, I have used H1 and H2, hello and world, and I have written in a, uh, one, uh, one line because uh, to show, to demonstrate that even if you write while you, uh, in your source code, you have wrote in a one line, but there is a break, there is a block of line. Why? Because H1 or headings are nothing but, but a block line element div another one a container right which contains uh, other elements also is a block line but span which is s1 and s2 i have written uh, to demonstrate even though in written in a blockage form you can see s1 and s2 are in the same line what it tells tells us is a inline element so div and span though are container they are differentiated based on either the block line element or span as an inline element so this is how a block line element and paragraph of course paragraph itself means a blockage of line right you have to block uh, block of line so it's a block line element 
So this is how block line elements and inline elements work. All right. So what next? For the next, we discuss image. 